can't seem to. It's probably at this point where I can't turn my camera view. There I am, finally. Okay. And now, of course, I'm going to try to level myself out. So let's put on the RCS thrusters. Let's see how this goes. No. We don't want to go that way. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Now we are going to be docking at uh, this port here. So let's try to level it out. At this port here. Upside down, but never mind. All the better. Let's try to level it out. We're still 200 meters away. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Let's switch to our other ship. We are excellent. Okay. Now let's get to target. Oh, shit, target. Where is it? Target. We're still going zero point. going pretty slow, we just gotta move it there. Let's move it there now. Okay. Excellent. Now we're gonna rotate. It's pretty much leveled out. One meter per second. A little bit slower, but it's fine. It's always better to have a little bit of uh, reserve. Now we're going to do it. It is a little bit jumpy, as you see. So we're going to just hit the throttle a bit to center it out, this damn dot. Because it's a little bit Confucius. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to switch off SAS. And we're gonna break below, remember? It goes the opposite way, so if you break below the thing, you move the yellow target up. Or what you could do is, hold on, you move up. Watch this. You could center it here. Okay, see, now it's stabilized. Let's go to docking. And now you just push up. Push up, get it up, get it up. Get it centered as much as you can. Push it up, push it up, push it up. 1.1, it's fine. Okay, switch back to launch. 
break. Breaking. Again, remember when I break, I break below, so it pushes it up. Remember if I switch to the other side? So now I'm pretty, pretty leveled out. That's it. I am pretty much leveled out with the ship. With my space station, so... Hold on now, I do need to find the damn thing. How fast am I going? Not that fast. Slow down more. Okay, now I am coming at an angle. It's 132.6, more than enough time. So, what I'm going to do now is, as you see, I'm coming right at a right angle. So, I need to rotate to this. stick my port facing my ship obviously this goes by eye normally what I could do is just right click my thing or double click and click target but I presume it works on the fact that uh, it'll take the center of the ship it means if I have my port right in the center that's fine so for smaller ships you just right click target and then you just move the center or the front of your ship towards that target and you pretty much lock up but now since I didn't select which actual uh, docking port I want to dock to I gotta do it by eye which is fine, I know it is sort of on a right angle, so... Okay, stabilizing it there. Let it turn a bit. Okay, stabilizing there. Orbit. Surface. No target. Why does this happen? I don't get this. There we go. Finally. Target. Okay, substantially off course, but never mind. Let's see where we need to get to now. Oh, actually, we are pretty leveled out. With the thing. 0 0.4, that's quite a good speed. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let's rotate. Face forward. We're gonna be docking! Yeah! Same principle applies. See the yellow line is a little bit below. So what I do, I can break with my RCS, but below it. Remember, same principle applies. So what I'm going to do is, hold on here. I'm going to balance it out here. I should see my docking port though now, soon. Uh, it's still not clear, but when I do see it, you can see my RCS going off on the space shuttle. I'm just trying to keep it stabilized, so that's great. We're going at 0.4 meters, which is great. Okay. 
Still pretty far though. I'll leave it at point 0.4. It's still not off. Remember, all I gotta do is break here with my RCS, push it back up. Let's actually go a little bit above because it is turning a little bit right. Remember, the whole time you gotta keep it balanced out, yeah, because you're leveling yourself in in relation to the actual ship. So, uh, in a way, you are going in a circle, and uh, the ship is also going in a circle. So that's why you gotta keep leveling it out. Because no matter how close you get in orbit, there's always gonna be a small variation. And this is the small variation that you're fixing. You know, you're always missing it by a couple of meters because you, you can't just get that few meters. Well, this is the few meters that you're missing. So if you fix, if you keep fixing uh, this, you know, while you're going close to it, let's say three and a half kilometers, you know, you, you level it out with the front and back, with uh, the forward, that being the, the yellow circle without the cross. And, uh, then you time warp a little bit and you'll notice it moves away and then you again you push you push it back the yellow towards uh, the actual pink thingy dot I don't know if it makes sense whatever I'll make a tutorial later once I get the hang of it a little bit more I'm gonna keep it now 0 0.4 is, is a good speed so uh, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that I can break I should be able to break that pretty easily and I am all I think I'm heading directly towards the port which I made uh, available to me so that's good I could time warp it, no, just a bit. Yeah, I could. Times five. See? You see you see, you see the level difference now? Anyways, let's put off our RCS and... Uh, why it's important in the beginning, as mentioned before, because... This is in relation to the level of me and the ship, so obviously I want to get it as close as possible to the ship. So, and once I get close enough, I can get my damn port. But I can't see the damn thing. There it is. I think that's it. Yeah, set a target. There you go. So, same thing applies there. This is, I'm leveling myself in relation to the actual clamp. And it is pretty leveled. It is pretty leveled. What I could do to make it easier, I could even bend the, the shuttle at an angle. But I am pretty leveled, so let's maybe time warp it a bit. 58. 55, 0 0.3, that's fine. Let's switch on our lights. Forty five meters, hold on. And we're going to break. Nope. We need to rotate it. The ship. I'll just break a bit. And then I'll rotate. See now it's below. So I'm gonna shoot the burst below. Once it gets below. Nah. Now it's above.
That was jumping around. That's because I'm very, very close. Well, we are heading straight towards it. A little bit at an angle, as you see, we are at 39 meters. Let's switch the ship. And, uh... Turn it towards us. A little bit more. Yeah, baby. I think that should do it. A little bit more. There you go. I'm happy with that. Let's go back. And adjust, since we adjusted that, it moved, obviously. Oh, crap. Why does this target vanish, man? How the hell do I get it back? Oh, no, wait, I see it. Set this target. And then, the last 40 meters, we we're gonna switch into uh, docking mode. And since we can move the yellow line without any issue, so let us balance it out here. Light on. a little bit off. I'll try to correct it now. It's a little bit off. But I am going at... Yep. 32.8, 32.7. You know, I'm sure there's you guys that have been doing it. This is like my <laughs> fourth docking, so uh, don't uh, don't think that this is pretty smooth for me. I'm sure if I do it a million times, I'll be a hell of a lot faster, but this always works. Always works, guys. Get as close as you can. Forget about the fucking orbit. Get into the air. Get your thing to match up, and that's pretty much it. We're going to come in at an angle. I could rotate the ship, but uh, I think it'll be fine. I think it should be able to, to clamp on. Let's move it in place now with the docking. See, it does vanish. Zero speed. We gotta change that.
I'm going further away. I messed that up a bit. I'll let it balance out. Thirty two meters. Okay. Speed up. See, that's the problem when you're going in too fast. Damn it! All goes to shit, pretty much. meters. Let it stabilize. 0 0.2. 18 meters. Slow down. Docking. approach. It does clamp on though. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. silent should be auto clamp soon here comes the magnetic pull <laughs> 